What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to improve your microphone quality using Audacity. What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to improve your microphone quality using Audacity. So what you just heard was this clip on screen. This is the unedited version of the audio you heard for the intro. Now if you have watched my tutorial on this in the past, some things have changed compared to normal. So I've been using these settings I'm about to show you for the past year and I believe it has worked a lot better compared to other settings I've shown you. So the first thing we need to do, you can see this white noise here, this is all the laptop fan. Now what I do when I record, I press the record button and I just sit in silence. Uh, four to five seconds as you can see this was four seconds and then this allows us to pick up this specific audio here so we can get rid of it throughout the whole video. You're going to left click and highlight it, you're then going to come up to effect, noise reduction or noise removal and then select it and select get noise profile. From there you're then going to select the entire track so you can press this button and you can see everything gets highlighted, you come up to effect noise reduction and select OK. This is just got rid of all of it like that. Then what we're going to be doing is heading back to effect and selecting normalize and just select OK. And the next step we're coming back to effect, we're coming to compressor and then from here just select OK. Usually the default is good enough as it is. You may need to play with it but like I said default is usually the best. I'm going to select OK. And then I'm going to come back to effect and select normalize and OK. Once again, we're coming back to effect. This is the second from last thing. So from effect, we're coming to equalization. From there, you want to come to where it says select curve. And what you want to do is select the bass boost. So you can see it's right here. Now I know I already have bass voice and treble voice here. These are my own presets and I will show you how to create your own. So bass boost. As you can see, it puts us to 9 decibels for the bass. Um, depends how you guys want your audio. Now, to me, I think having a bit more bass makes the overall audio quality a little bit better. Um, so what I do, I actually have my own curve, like I mentioned earlier. So I have my closer to about 11 decibels. So if yours is on bass boost, let's say you've already got a really deep voice, you won't need too much bass so you can turn that down to just about here which is probably about seven decibels and then we need to save it down here otherwise you're going to have to mess around with this setting all the time so to do that you just select save slash manage curves and you can see it says unnamed all you need to do come here and select rename i will just call this test and i want to select ok and ok now every time you come back to equalization to make your voice quality sound better you select curve and it will be saved right here known as test. Now of course my one is bass voice because that's the one I use for my voice and I'm going to select OK. And this is what will happen to your audio and the final step is selecting effect again and coming to normalize. Just select OK and that is now the audio completed. Now yes I do not add any treble to my voice and I used to but I no longer do and the reason for that is because I think this audio quality sounds a lot more better compared to when you add treble. Now this is all personal preference you can go ahead and add treble yourself but for me or for my voice I don't need it. So a quick run through of what we just done we removed the background noise we compressed the audio we then added some bass to it and that is it simple steps like that and hopefully from the start of the video you could tell the difference that this way is a lot better. 